Good evening, you're watching Left, Right and Center. I'm Nidhi Razdan. Well, air pollution in North India should be a national health emergency because studies show that breathing this toxic air day after day is actually shortening our lifespans by several years. People who've never smoked a cigarette in their lives are getting lung cancer. Children are facing respiratory problems on an overwhelming scale. But today, the Delhi government is patting itself on the back, saying, hey, air pollution post Diwali has not been as bad as last time. That is true because if you look at the data today, uh, it's actually been relatively better than the last few years. But the devil is in the details. Firstly, the Delhi government's firecracker ban went up in smoke for the second year running. The Centre for Col Pollution Control Board's data shows that air quality this year was 18% lower than last year. But the levels of PM2.5, which is the most lethal pollutant in the air, shot up more than 180 times the WHO's safe levels. And this happened in several parts of Delhi. But because of higher temperatures at this time and some wind, the pollution levels that we've seen the day after Diwali have been the lowest since 2018. So we just got lucky because of the weather. Safar, which is the central government's top air quality tracking agency, says that farm fires and firecrackers have not affected Delhi's air quality that much this year. And the main pollutants are vehicles, industry, as well as road dust that contribute to about 80% of the pollution that we're seeing at the moment. So why is air pollution year after year becoming an issue that we seem to be discussing only at a particular period of time when it's actually an issue that affects our cities pretty much throughout the year? Joining us first on the program tonight, uh, is Shibani Ghosh, a fellow with the Centre of Policy Research and Environmental Lawyer, Bhavreen Kandari, environmentalist and member of My Right to Breathe, is with us as well. Dr. Suresh Kumar, uh, the uh, MD of LNJP Hospital and member of Delhi's COVID Task Force, uh, is also joining us uh, uh, today. And Dr. Vijay Hadda uh, from uh, the All India Institute of Medical Sciences is with us as well. Uh, Dr. Hadda, I actually wanted to begin with you first. In terms of the impact that we're seeing, before we start quibbling about whether Delhi's air quality is very poor, poor or severe and, you know, w w you know relatively less levels of pollution, etc. What is this toxic air doing to people that you see day in and day out at AIMS? What is it doing to our bodies? See, good evening, everyone, and happy Diwali to all. Uh, I think it's a very pertinent question. For last so many years, we are keep on discussing air pollution, its effect on health. Despite that, uh, probably still we are unable to reach that goal of providing a clean air. If you talk about the ill effect of this air pollution, the air pollution is one thing which affects almost every organ, uh, meaning thereby that no physician, be it a ophthalmologist or cardiologist or a pulmonologist, almost all physicians are looking those patients who are having some or other effect of air pollution. And I, I think the most important organ which is being affected is the lungs. And because I am a pulmonologist, I can say with my experience as well as this NF data, we suggest that whenever the air quality goes down, meaning thereby then we, when the air pollution level increases or air quality index increases or a, a air quality being poor, then the ill effects are visible. And, and the patient who are having any disease, especially the respiratory disease, their life becomes very, very difficult. Uh, I can give simple example. The patient who are having asthma, during this period of time, their control goes away. Despite taking multiple inhalers, they, they, their symptom will persist. Similarly, if you talk about COPD, the patient who are doing OK till maybe till end of September, suddenly when uh, this October starts and especially the second half of October when this temperature goes down, the air speed goes down and this air quality becomes start right. worsening. So, so are you that saying that in perfectly are, healthy patients also you are seeing, uh, you know, the impact on the lungs? Even in... in, in definitely, in, definitely. The yeah. patient who are having underlying disease, they are visible. But the patient, the person who are healthy, totally healthy, they will also have some or other effect. I can give simple example. That means... The, the person who are totally healthy, if you uh, interview many uh, of these participants, many of them will complain, stuffy of nose, their nose becomes tough, and then they will keep on frequent coughing. Although they may not be having asthma or COPD underlying, but still they will keep on feeling these symptoms of dry cough or maybe a little bit of breathing difficulty or a little bit of uh, having a, a headache. Also. Yes. yes, headache also, and uh, the yeah. eyes burning and eyes irritation. 
these are very common uh, especially right this season so 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 bhavreen kandhari as you know as as someone who's been campaigning for clean air now for so long in delhi you spent i think what some decades doing this uh, when the government turns around and says well actually this diwali was a little better uh, and we should be happy uh, that you know we're only very poor and not severe uh, how do you react you know to to, to that stunning claim no nidhi like i said uh, you know sometime earlier also this is really uh, something are we are we here to compromise with the the health uh, are we even considering air pollution as a health emergency to say that because it's almost like uh, i i like i'm a concerned mother most uh, you know foremost and uh, i'm sure mostly everyone over here feels like that as a concerned parent and would you say that it is a little less poison for today i mean a much lesser point maybe a point less poison than the last year so this is uh, this this whole uh, narrative is so uh, uh, nonsensical because we are trying to uh, convince people or public or uh, you know i don't know uh, obviously it is uh, you know basically to uh, like a pr campaign that uh, it's working and we should be on the other hand you know criticizing ourselves that oh this is a long way to go but yes th- uh, not, without denying that yeah there have been steps forward but these steps are usually only um, headlines or only uh, uh, you know uh, just making maybe a law but when it comes to enforcement we are seeing that mostly in everything whether it is crackers or waste management or whether it's construction or vehicles uh, it's very very poor so that is why we we are where we are and uh, this uh, slightly better or uh, uh, much better or uh, aqi being Uh, better in the morning today and uh, much lesser these uh, these adjectives just don't so- seem to work absolutely uh, and and as and is- as we were pointing out the deadliest pollutant that is out there is something called pm 2.5 which has been as i mentioned at the beginning recorded at 180 times the permissible level the yeah. the level that's prescribed by the who so that is what seeps into our lungs deep into our lungs and that's what potentially shortens your life span shivani ghosh there is another your- telling statistic uh, which is that if you because we're looking at this air quality index all the time right and and the data shows official data shows that actually delhi had only one good air quality day last year which was in october it had five good days in 2020 and two good days in 2019 i mean we are at this point where when our when our air quality aqi is is good just for a few days in a year or maybe even one day in a year we're okay with that thank you nidhi um i think it's to begin with i want to say you're just talking about delhi when the whole nation is facing this problem right i mean more than 80% of india's population is exposed to really poor quality of air uh so it's not and 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 we talk about delhi but it's really so many other parts of the country and parts of the country which don't even have monitors so even proper monitoring is not happening in many parts of the country so we don't even know the kind of air people in those parts of the country are actually breathing uh but yeah i do agree with you that these kind of targets of aqi and the you know the days going up and down really don't mean very much uh because at the end of the day uh bad air is bad air and we are not doing enough throughout the year to ensure that uh that people breathe the kind of air that according to our own uh standards is permissible so in that sense it's it just does not make any um kind of there, there are no substantive or sustained air quality improvements that we are seeing in ground just a few days up and down really does not uh help at the end of and accountability you know is is the other issue priyanka kakkar of the aam aadmi party is with us mr jay prakash of the delhi bjp is also with us uh, priyanka kakkar the point then is that okay the delhi government said people were actually going to get a 6 month jail term for bursting firecrackers uh, a delhi minister is on record saying that firecrackers that were burst last night were 30% lower than last year which still means that there was a there was a large chunk of people that burst firecrackers which was just plain illegal and against the law So where is the accountability for that are we supposed to be happy and applauding that you know uh, firecrackers weren't as much as last year 
Nidhi, good evening to everyone and a happy Diwali to everyone too. Uh, nobody is happy about the air quality. Let me assure you that it was just the fact that Delhi no longer features in the top 10 most polluted cities in Asia. There is one such report which said that. Uh, Nidhi, also... Well, credible data disputes that. From Switzerland, for example, where they measure a AQI across the world, Delhi is still the second most polluted city in the world. Then again, there is also credible data to the fact that, you know, the Delhi's AQI one day before Diwali was be was the best it had seen in the past seven years. And one day after Diwali, it was the best it had seen in five years. I'm not saying things, it, I'm not at all saying it's enough. What I'm saying is that Delhi government is constantly working at it. We've increased the green cover from, uh, we've planted 33 lakh trees, which has increased the green cover from 20 to 23.4% now. We've also, there are also, uh, we've also today, in fact, launched 157 mobile smog machines. Uh, there were 10 previously, they seem to give some better results. So we plant, we've, we've, uh, we've ensured that 157 are on the road. We've also seen one major cause of concern was also the Parali burning from Punjab, which has this time, because of awareness, because of several steps taken by the government, Punjab government, the Parali burning incidents have gone from 3022 to 1019, which is one third. Uh, the but they're also however, going up now because it also rained very late this time. Yeah. Let so actually complete. the burning season started a bit late and by the Let way, me. I flew please over complete. Punjab yesterday and it was horrifying to see, you could see the farm fires over Punjab and Haryana. You Nidhi, could really see it from the air, we have, uh, dotted all over. Let me please tell you Nidhi, we've also started, you know, we, we, there was a plant which was uh, in the trial phase which has been inaugurated today and operational fully functional now. This is the country's first biggest bioenergy plant in setup in 20 acres at a lagat of 230 crores. This is supposed to also take in 1.50 lakh metric tons of polluted elements, the PM 2.5, and 20 lakh, 20,000 tons of fly ash. So, Nidhi, we are constantly working at it. It is not that we aren't, but air is such an issue, Nidhi, that it does not see a party. It does not see a, a state, like ma'am before me said, that uh, air pollution But is the a only reason today our air quality is very poor and not severe is because of the weather. I, I'm just reminding you that it's it's only because the temperatures are higher right now. Uh, Diwali has come at a, at a time when temperatures are not as low as they normally would be in November. And also because there's wind and that has helped, you know, move the pollutants along. So we that just got lucky today. Nidhi, Nidhi, that, but at the same time, Delhi government has also, like I said, planted these 33 lakh more trees and increased the green cover of 20, from 20% to 20.3% now in Delhi. That has also happened. So we are constantly at it and what I'm saying through your channel, requesting to the BJP spokesperson sitting here, that we've been constantly writing letters uh, to the BJP, our environment, environment minister Gopal Raiji has also been asking for joint meetings. And air is such an issue which is which which is devoid of any uh, person or party. And therefore, it is important that we sit together and a joint action plan be made. And the situation throughout the country, like ma'am before me was saying, it is not just Delhi. Eighty percent of India suffers from this problem. In fact, in Guru Gram today, the AQI is six ninety five. So you can't blame the BJP there. We have to sit. We have to sit together and come to a solution. It is important. I think that's a fair point, Jay Prakash ji. Is it not possible for the center to take charge of this uh, and and make this a national issue and bring all the stakeholders together? Let let the prime minister's office have a meeting on this. This this is something that affects everybody. देखिए सबसे पहले तो मैं दीपावली पर्व के सबको बधाई और सब कामने देता हूँ. और दिल्ली के अंदर जो वायु पोल्यूशन का जो मुद्दा है ये आज का नहीं है बहुत पुराना है लेकिन जब से दिल्ली में आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार आई है इन्होंने दिल्ली को एयर पोल्यूशन से बचाने के लिए कोई भी ठोस कदम नहीं उठाया है आम आम आदमी पार्टी अपनी पीठ खुद थपथपाती है और अपनी रिपोर्ट खुद ही पेश करती है दिल्ली को अगर एयर पोल्यूशन से बचाना है तो तीन स्टेक होल्डर हैं दिल्ली के अंदर केंद्र सरकार दिल्ली सरकार और नगर निगम तीनों की तीनों सरकारें क्या कर रही हैं भारत सरकार ने दिल्ली को एयर पोल्यूशन से बचाने के लिए ईस्टर्न पेरीफेल बनाया वेस्टर्न पेरीफेल बनाया सत्तर से अस्सी हज़ार जो कमर्शियल वहीकल दिल्ली के अंदर आते थे जिनके कारण से एयर पोल्यूशन बढ़ता था वो आने बंद हुए अक्षरधाम से लेकर गए हरिद्वार तक रोड बनाया जहाँ जाम लगता था जिससे एयर पोल्यूशन होता था धोलकुआ से लेकर एयरपोर्ट तक आप जाओगे उसका जाम हटाने के लिए रोड बनाया अभी आपने देखा किस प्रकार से प्रगति मैदान के अंदर 
अभी इतना बड़ा काम हुआ है जिसके कारण से जाम लगता था एयर पोल्यूशन अब उससे घटा है लेकिन दिल्ली सरकार ने क्या कदम उठाए दिल्ली सरकार को जो कदम उठाने थे ग्रीन बस लानी थी वो आज तक नहीं लेकर आए फैक्ट्री जो पोल्यूटेड फैक्ट्री है उनको दिल्ली से बाहर भेजना था उन पर कोई काम नहीं किया दिल्ली के अंदर जितने टूटे हुए रोड हैं उन पर कोई काम नहीं किया जितने जितनी भी कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट्स हैं उन पर सभी फार सभी रूल रेगुलेशन से वो कार्य हो बड़े बड़े प्रोजेक्ट जो चल रहे हैं उस पर कुछ काम हो उस पर दिल्ली सरकार ने कुछ नहीं किया हाँ पिछले दो तीन साल से ये पंजाब और हरियाणा को कुछ दोष देते थे अभी पंद्रह दिन से पंजाब के अंदर पराली जलाई जा रही है पंजाब में तो इनकी सरकार है उसमें भी हम पीठ थपथप आ रहे हैं कि पहले तीन होते थे अब अब दो के आसपास हो रही है पराली जलाने के केस आ रहे हैं भाई ऐसे काम नहीं होगा पिछले वर्ष इस महीने के अंदर जो एक आई था वो जितना था उतना ही इस वर्ष भी है तो आपने जो भी कदम उठाए हैं वो सारे के सारे जीरो हैं आप सिर्फ चौरासी लाख का डी कम्पोजर खरीद करके आठ करोड़ का विज्ञापन पोलिटिकल बैटल वन सेकेंड प्रियंका जी वेलकम बैक टू यू आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू आस्क डॉक्टर सुरेश कुमार that as again i i i i you know i want the medical experts to come in here and just just put this into perspective for us we have seen some very credible studies from american institutions universities uh, uh, you know that have said our life spans are being shortened because of this because we are breathing this toxic air day in and day out it's not just about october november it's the whole year uh definitely need uh, uh, we have the multiple studies there are 20 studies done on pollution and most of these studies are retrospective and there are many studies on effect of uh, pollution on the covid outcomes it's a uh, definitely the pm 2.5 and pm 10 particles which are very very harmful and we have seen uh, that the pollution level is very high in entire uh, country and we see more than 80% of population all over the world is facing this problem it is a world largest killer if you see the who that this causes millions of death per year because of cancers because of the copd because of the uh, allergic problems because of uh, the coronary artery disease hypertension and as you mentioned that we have the premature deaths because the year of life lost because of pollution because of this uh, menace of uh, um, multiple reasons are there we all know that it major a uh, problem for respiratory diseases but we do see the large number of patients around diwali that because of the copd asthma allergic problems and particularly the uh, population in the elderly and children are much more affected and we have seen this time that we have the long covid also and that uh, put more problems more that's uh, that's right uh, shibani ghosh does all this stuff like a smog tower and you know sprinkling the road with water does this actually help well whatever evidence is available nithi these kind of ad hoc techno fixes have there's very little evidence to support they actually have any impact on the ground what we really do need is systemic reforms institutional strengthening kind of re reframing the whole debate uh, and reframing regulation we have to look at air pollution as a regional problem we can no longer afford to look at it as an urban centric arising only from transport vehicles industry it's something that affects a region and regulation therefore has to be done at a regional level and that requires an a very high amount of uh, coordination between different levels of government across sectors between different departments this is not just an environmental problem as many speakers before me including medical practitioners on this panel have said it's a public health emergency of a, of epic proportions and we cannot have decision making bodies which have no representations from the representation from the medical fraternity or the public health sector you have and, you know if you look at the state pollution control boards across the indo gangetic plain a, a recent study by the center for policy research clearly shows you have representations from potential polluters local municipalities industry associations public sector uh, corporations but where are the doctors where are the public health professionals where are the air quality uh, people with expertise in air quality who can actually guide policy making there there's hardly any representation by these people so therefore these small techno kind of reactive uh, measures like smog towers or you know uh, any other such technical responses are very ad hoc very reactive very short sighted and they actually come at the cost of long term planning envisioning something which leads to systemic changes we need something that you know reforms at that level 
can i ask you can i ask you what are the like the, the two things if you could quickly list out in terms of this long term uh, change that you'd want to see uh, what would it what could that be what what could we actually realistically do so the first thing is i mentioned nidhi is something that we need to reimagine our regulation at an air shed level currently it's been done at a city level or at the state level so for instance the city level is where you know even the finance commission grants that are coming are for particular cities and urban local bodies in every city but that's not how air pollution works that's not how smog trans you know transports itself. it affects everybody yeah it affects everyone and you know rural areas are also poorly badly affected so you know we need to stop looking at myopically at just cities and city dwellers and we need to actually start planning at an air shed level so for instance the entire indo gangetic plains uh, people talked about stubble burning and we know how the stubble burning affects the entire region and not just you know people living in a few cities the second major thing nidhi and this is really not this i think is low hanging fruit for all state governments and the central government is just filling vacancies i mean even if you assume that the sanction strength of environmental regulators such as the pollution control board is adequate and that's an assumption one could challenge we are looking at 40% average vacancies across state pollution control boards how are these boards expected to function and even if they were to function nidhi air quality is just one of the things they have to do they have to look at water quality noise pollution Absolutely. waste management it's 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 I mean, it's it's, a, it's all encompassing it. it's interesting when, when you talk about the fact that regulation itself is so poor uh, bhavreen uh, uh, you know if there was something that you would want to see as a citizen as someone as a mother as you said uh, this is about your children and about their health uh, what is the appeal that you would make to the politicians on this panel today um pretty much uh, you know on the lines of what shibani is saying of course extremely a good policy that that will actually make all the difference uh, uh, not uh, uh, not these ad hoc uh, uh, you know measures that are taken and visual effects that uh, are being done just the for headline management or, you mean or, or or pictures but something that that works that you know here we are talking air pollution at this time but the rest of the year you're cutting trees you're making roads like also the uh, my co-panelist uh, here you know from bjp he's talking only of roads and making and construction and underpasses you are absolutely wrong sir this is only added to the uh, pollution who in uh, delhi and it will add the underpass here at pradeep madan has totally flopped at the ashram there are again traffic jams will increase you are making the city only for vehicles so this is just one of the examples everything everything or everything that we do even stubble burning needs a good policy the crop is wrong they have to sit down they have to work that's what the leaders are all about they have to make good policy only then uh, you know things fall in place but um, if we are just uh, you know working on uh, Uh, you know advertisements and uh, headlines then or campaigns okay. then uh, the government should not be campaigning they so, should be so priyanka kakar i'll come back to you on this because you wanted to also respond to what mr jayprakash said earlier one is i had asked this earlier didn't get an answer which is on accountability people defied the firecracker ban what happens to to them who is accountable for that and and b uh, you are now in government in punjab so you can't say that the, you know the punjab government isn't doing anything to stop stubble burning what is the long term plan and who is being held accountable for the farm fires that are now gradually increasing over the last few days nidhi uh, i disagree nidhi and data says that the farm fires have definitely reduced but before i come to the Punj uh, Punj point of punjab a quick brief on what we've done in delhi so far uh, you all mentioned ad hoc measures but there are certain long term measures for example the industries have now switched to png there is an ev policy and we in encourage the use of electric vehicles and we give incentives for it there is a tree plantation policy, policy which is a very progressive policy again brought in by the government of delhi then there is a green war room which has been set up nidhi this is headed by uh, scientists and engineers and uh, suggestions are taken from all the citizens and we implement those suggestions uh, in a very real time manner this has been set up on 1st october we've been working at it even prior to setting up this uh, green war room which is also in punjab now in punjab this time the data shows that instead of 3022 uh, fires stubble fires that happened last year it has come down to 1019 we have in fact with today uh, one of our mlas he in punjab he has uh, uh, you know honored honored the uh, farmers 
and there were there were about 80 from different districts who did not indulge in uh, stable burning understood the harm harm of it and they were in the assembly of punjab they were but uh, what ordered. is the action being taken against those who are still doing the stable burning those who are still bursting the firecrackers despite the bans nidhi so there is a supreme court judgment which says that uh, farmers should be given 2500 rupees per acre for stubble but for to in, to give them incentive instead of uh, burning the stubble we have set aside a subsidy of 750 acres nidhi we have been pushing the central government to pitch in further but there is no help forth coming from there uh, we are still working at it nidhi and like i said today we have inaugurated this um a bio bio energy plant which take, which which uh, will reduce the a uh, pm particle in the air to a considerable extent about 1.5 lakh ton metric now again i will make this request to the bjp spokesperson sitting here you have done a lot okay thank you very much we are doing a lot but it needs a long term solution air affects everybody across all parties please respond to our environment minister's request please have a joint meeting please attend the so, meeting jay prakash ji last word to you kya joint meeting ho sakti hai is pe देखिए क्यों नहीं हो सकती अगर सब मिलके काम करें अगर दिल्ली के आम आदमी पार्टी सरकार काम कुछ नहीं करेगी सर आरोप लगाएगी सर हम आपको चिट्ठियां लिख चुके हैं जवाब मिलने का टाइम कीजिए एंटी स्मोक टावर एंटी स्मोक टावर लग, बनाने की बात हुई थी तो दिल्ली में काम तो ये लोग कुछ कर नहीं रहे सिर्फ आरोप लगाने से काम चलेगा आप बताइए आप राय की चिट्ठी का जवाब दीजिए ना आप वाई डजन द सेंटर रिस्पॉन्ड आप मीटिंग तो बुलाइए कम से कम राय जी मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ उनपे नो सौ करोड़ का उनपे जुर्माना क्यों लगाया तो हम सब क्यों लगाया दिल्ली सरकार दिल्ली में दिल्ली में दिल्ली सरकार स्टेक होल्डर है चिट्ठी चिट्ठी अरे भैया आप भी जिम्मेदारी से नहीं भाग सकते दिल्ली के अंदर दिल्ली के अंदर एयर पोल्यूशन से बचाने के लिए कूड़े से बचाने के लिए सत्तर हजार करोड़ की सरकार क्या कर रही है आप सिर्फ बयानबाजी करते हैं आप सिर्फ बयानबाजी करते हैं मेरा सिर्फ आपके एक सवाल है आप मत बोलिए कि क्या केंद्र सरकार इस पे मीटिंग बुलाएगी एक जॉइंट मीटिंग बुलाएगी या नहीं हाँ या ना केंद्र सरकार हर वर्ष जो मीटिंग बुलाती है कोऑर्डिनेशन की लेकिन दिल्ली सरकार उस पर काम नहीं करती मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ ये ईस्टर्न फेरफेल वेस्टर्न फेरफेल जो रोड बने इसका पैसा आज तक आपने दिया अक्सर we're going to Please, revisit we're going to revisit this issue of air pollution in india and actually uh, i just want to say shivani ghosh you're absolutely right it's not just a delhi issue in fact we've been showing a statistic on screen more than 70% of india cities are polluted uh, so there is a large uh, most of our population currently is is suffering because of toxic air so this is an issue we can't take our eyes off have to leave it there for the moment thank you all very much for joining us